uh, let's see here. So I'm going to be making a tutorial on uh, Lunar Magic uh, on how to input a background. So we're going to open a ROM. Now we're going to go to our tutorial folder, which I put on the desktop. Here we go. Our copy of Super Mario World. We're going to open it. It's brand new, so it doesn't have a header. So we're going to say OK. Next thing we're going to have to do is quick extract. So quick extract graphics, quick extract uh, your EX graphics. So they're all in the same folder. Let me close some of these. Uh, I don't need this one either. So this is the folder. Uh, you'll see here your EX graphics go in there and your regular graphics go here. We're going to be needing an EX graphic. This is telling us that it will be in background too. So we're going to copy this. Open up your EX graphics. You're going to put it in there. But we do have to fix the name because uh, it has to be specific. So we're just going to chop this out of here. Ta da! So that's what it's going to look like there. Now, what you can do now is you're going to reinsert it into your ROM. So quick insert your graphics back, quick insert your EX graphics back. Now that's fine. Now on your unpacked, you're unpacked here. So you're going to be taking your level, which for whatever reason is not here anymore. Uh, so let me just extract here. Yes to all. There we go. It's right here. It come in this folder. We are doing the uh, Donkey Kong Country background. Uh, so we'll take this sample level here, plop it in. Now you're going to get at this. That's going to look like a complete mess. Do not worry. We're going to fix that. Uh, you'll see up here, it's going to be changed. See, it's background 80. That's already done. This is already enabled for us. So the only thing we really need to do here is go into here, your 16 by 16 tile editor. You're going to go to import. And you're going to import your map 16 file that also came in your download. So you implement that. Now hit save, or it won't actually save to your ROM. Hit your X. Now there's different options. Uh, I did say here uh, to get the whole background to show up in the level. Set the layer to background scrolling rate to H scroll, V scroll. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if I remember where those are. Uh, layer two, the vertical scroll, no vertical scroll, unless filing, let me see what it said here, layer two background scrolling rate to H scroll constant, V scroll constant, uh, that must be in the other one, I believe. That's sprite memory. Where is that? There are three. Ah, there we go. H scroll constant, V scroll constant. Is that what we wanted? Should already be done. There we go. So that's done. You have your background now. Things you can do, you can change uh, the palette background. Like it came with three different options: Clam City, Coral Capers, and Poison Pond. Now I'm just going to show this as an example. Uh, so if you wanted to change Poison Pond's palette or make this to Poison Pond, you would open up your palette. You would go to uh, Import Level Palette, and look, so Poison Pond hit OK. There you go. Now you have a Poison Pond background. Save it. Make sure your map 16 is saved. It is saved. And there you go. That's that's literally all there is to it. Now you can go ahead and build on it or do whatever you want and your background is created. 